is up y'all how are you guys doing today we're out here in the middle of new hampshire at a brand new spot and uh this spot is special for a couple different reasons or at least i hope it's going to be let me just give you a quick look we got the kayak almost ready to go this is not the biggest body of water when i came over here actually i couldn't believe how clear it was man so we've got some rockiness look at that super freaking clear we got some bugs on top of the water you have three different rod and reel setups today i'm gonna show you guys all this in a second but pretty much all ready to go it is a freaking beautiful day out here though in new hampshire man literally we got that fall kind of weather sun's peeking through just a little bit but it feels absolutely amazing out here also this morning i had some apple cider and some apple cider donuts so we have the full forces of fall behind us so we're gonna get out here see what we can freaking do man let me let me tell you i'm like so freaking excited for this man let's launch see what's going on all right oh gosh oh i don't bring my i'm not grabbing my paddle Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I wonder if that was small. He's pushing all those bait around. Okay, wow. So again, at, keeping the momentum going, everybody's just like nice here at New Hampshire, man. So those people were saying there's three different types of fish in here. I think he said rainbow and brown trout, but then also smallmouth, which is what we're going to be going for. Well, we're, we're going to be throwing a bunch of different stuff, but oh, man. I'm excited, dude. All right, where is my rod? Okay. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna be doing, man. I guess I should say real quick too, one of you guys actually told me about this spot. They asked me to not name drop it, but uh, basically they said when they come here, they crush it on little gold inline spinners, kind of like this. So we've got one of those on. Oh, it's like rocky. There's definitely bait fish around. It's like so clear right here. I just saw something chasing it. It'd be pretty cool to catch a freaking trout out of this too. Oh, it's like so clear right here. Oh, wait, what, what is that chasing me? I'm trying to make sure that I have my GoPro head on right. Alrighty, man, this is like so freaking peaceful. Those guys are heading out. Now, they did say they crushed some smallies with some live bait, so hopefully there's still some fish in here that want to eat. Oh, I just got... That was so weird. Someone just followed me, but, like, just nipped at the tip of the treble. What the heck was that, dude? I don't know if that was a smallie or what. They said there's some pretty big fish in here, though. So basically, all we're doing, man, just going to be running this little gold inline spinner... I have a couple different colors, a couple different sizes. We've got a bunch of different lures here, um, but I was recommended to try this out. So we're gonna try it out. Wow, you could just see how clear it is when the freaking sun is on over it. So beautiful out here, man. This is just so cool. Pretty much all we're gonna be targeting at first is all this rock structure, the drop off kind of area where, it, you know, it's short and then it kind of drops off near all this. Oh, I just had another fish follow it. Am I going too fast? Wow, that's a really nice little place right there. They got like a hammock in the trees and stuff. Why are these fish not eating it? See, now this is the kind of area. Let me stand up real quick. You're gonna see like a freaking moose, dude. It's all like when we're on this road trip. I want to see a moose so bad. It's like one of the top things on my list. It's so cool. I could literally watch the spinner spin back to me. So we've had some action so far. Oh, over there actually looks pretty good. I might float over that way. There's so much wood down there. I just don't know why these fish aren't eating, eating. Can we just take a second though, man? Look, like, oh, this is so freaking cool. Like literally so freaking cool. If you guys could, man, go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me, and it does help out the channel. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, like freaking hidden 
backwoods pond fishing. I definitely want to do some more creek stuff, um, especially we're going to be going up to Vermont here soon. And that is supposed to have some pretty good trout fishing. I know there's some good trout fishing in New Hampshire that you guys are telling me about too. Super shallow out here. So clear, man. I didn't even know that there were trout in this pond. I guess he said they stock them. I don't know how many times a year. I don't know when the last time they stocked it is. But what's really special about this place, to me especially, coming from Delaware, we don't have ponds at all that have uh, smallies in them. Let me feel, oh yeah, it's pretty chilly. It's just so cool. Cause I mean, up here in the north is like the perfect climate for this kind of pond. Ah. <laughs> But uh, in Delaware, I mean, it just gets really freaking hot. I mean, we don't even have ponds like this that are, you know, that are clean and uh, see-through. Or as deep, too. This place probably gets pretty freaking deep. Should have asked them if they were catching them out deeper in the shallows. All right, I think our best bet probably is going to be going, so it looks like the wind's blowing towards this way, this bank. And uh, if you guys know, man, Windblown bank is usually a pretty good spot. Hopefully a lot of bait got pushed up there. Literally right where I dropped, when those guys came in, there was like a big pot of bait that's getting destroyed by something. I guess there's like little bait fish in here. So uh, maybe a lot of those bait fish got pushed up over this way. We're gonna kind of fish our way over there. It does definitely look like it drops off pretty good. I know smallies are pretty aggressive fish too. I wonder if I put on a plopper. Even though it's like kind of fall-ish, it's kind of the middle of the day. I wonder if they still go smacking that. I do have Ned Rigs too. It's kind of like usually my go-to smally bait. Especially in super clear water like this, that'd probably do pretty freaking good. It's just weird, man. I wonder if those guys, I don't know if they caught a bunch, if they spooked all these fish, or if these fish are just spookish in general. So they're like looking at it. And then at the last second, they're like, eh. Oh my God, there's so much bait under this tree. Okay, so we've been scouring the edges. It's been super shallow, super clear. And then we come across this big old tree that's down here. And I just came across, oh my gosh, dude. This is literally, it looks like almost all the bait in this whole pond. It's, it's, it's freaking nuts, dude. So I'm gonna put a Sanko on, try to see if I can get something a little bit bigger of a profile down there. Cause if there's a monster, I don't know why they wouldn't be hiding like right here. If I was a monster in this body of water, I'd be literally right down there. Oh my gosh, there's a fish. Oh, it came off, came freaking came off, dude. Exactly what I'm saying though. <laughs> okay, come back for it, you won't. There's a fish on there. There's a freaking fish. Okay, hold on. That's actually a good fish. Um, hello? <laughs> Holy freaking crap, dude. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> let's try to land this dude. Oh no! <sighs> All right, well, there's fish here. I'm just a, I'm just a professional. That dude done near freaking tore my worm up. I wonder if that was the same guy. I'm telling you, there's gotta be piles of fish. I mean, I wish you guys could see how many freaking bait fish there are right here. This is like stupid. I wonder if that was the same guy that came back. I'm gonna talk about freaking fighting fish. All right, we're gonna change out. This worm is just KO'd after that one fight. It doesn't help too, I was trying to loosen my drag a little bit. I didn't. I mean, that was probably at least a one, one and a half pound smallie. Which if I knew one thing about smallies, man, no offense to largies, but <laughs> these freaking smallies put up a fight. That, I don't know, it might've been bigger. I didn't really get a good look at it, but 
think we might have found him, man. There's one. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna land this dude. If there's one thing this shows you, man, if you can find, oh gosh, the freaking bait, you can find the fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy freaking crap, dude. All right, come here, boy. <sighs> Dang, man. Okay, that's actually bigger than I thought that one was gonna be. What the heck? He definitely flung my worm. We're gonna be going through worm. Oh no, he's worms up there. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all can tell or not. Um, that is a fat, thick little smallie. I mean, definitely has a small mouth. I guess that makes sense, right? Oh. My gosh, it does not get much better than that. All right, we're gonna put that guy back. Thank you so much, buddy. <sighs> the worm might be the move right now. Seriously though, if you can find the bait, the fish should not be too far away. They just might be loaded down there, man. I might catch my personal best. Well, people have been telling me too about New Hampshire, which I didn't even know this, but uh, New Hampshire has some really big bass we could potentially catch not only our pb smally but like our pb bass <laughs> oh man it's like that same spot i keep hitting it right to the right of these trees just let it kind of go down a little bit it's just <laughs> oh there's so much bait this is amazing and to be honest too if i didn't have polarized glasses i don't think i'd be able to see that bait you know why I think they're there too? I'll tell you, it's the freaking wind just pushing them all in. I mean, it's a great structure too. But I think the wind definitely has a factor in it. All right, this is gonna be our personal best right here. Right. Oh, that's perfect. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little tough with this wind here. As I said the other video, like I think that's just a thing in the Northeast. The wind picks up during like the middle of the day. And the mornings and evenings is just like way calmer. I guess it's some science stuff. What are the odds that that was the same fish though? All three times. Couldn't be, right? I mean, it could be. For all you guys who live in states with like moose and bears, I've come to the, um, conclusion that I think I'd rather run into a uh, bear in the wild than a moose I think I don't know I'm stuck Ugh. no I guess a, a moose rather than a bear I don't know how fast do moose like how fast can they move they both swim right bears and moose I know bears can climb trees though I don't think a moose can do that we could probably knock it down. But yeah, how do you guys who live in areas that have this kind of stuff, like, do you just always feel like there's a moose behind you? <laughs> I was just over by the trees for a second. I was like, I, I feel something looking at me. The wildlife up here really is like insane. It's freaking beautiful. And just super, super special, man. See, I have something, uh, like this tied on too that I might, well not tied on, but tied up that I might chuck out there. It's like a little swim bait, paddle tail type thing. A little bit bigger than those bait fish. Maybe if I get it a little bit more down. I don't know, I'm gonna throw the Senko a couple more times over here. We're gonna keep it moving, man. It's still got a lot of water to explore. Skirt! Maybe, um, possibly, with this wind going on, I might have to put on, I brought my whole spinnerbait box. Maybe we'll chuck one of those around. It's just getting to that like, uh, like point. It's like windy, but now it's like windy, windy. I mean, it's no problem for this kayak, but just as far as the fishing goes. Yeah, no, yeah, you know what? We're gonna put one on. I uh, do see a nice, big, thick, it looks like a beaver dam down there. I don't know if y'all have beavers up here. I think it's just another one of those tree 
type things. All right, um, so if y'all haven't seen it, this is my spinner bait box. I don't think I really have ever showed you guys and I don't think I really throw spinner baits like ever on this channel. Interesting thing though, I was over at a uh, body of water. It was like a really big lake. Probably, I think it was like the biggest lake in New Hampshire. You guys saw me fishing at um, a video or two ago, right? And the guy told me to throw, I think this is exactly it. It's like a double bladed willow, I think is what it's called. Somehow I have some of these. Have I ever used them? Very sparingly. But I think I got these at Cabela's one time when they were on sale. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna throw it on this rod, I think. You've done well, my friend. The OG Senko must rest now. That is until we get up to that tree up there. This might actually do good up there too though, all right. Should I throw a trailer on this or not? Basically, when we're putting this on, we're committing to the big bite. I'm sure if I threw a little spin around, we'd catch some stuff, but all right, we're just gonna take this off this. Let's just run it along the edge of this. I mean, there's just so many options of stuff we could throw here. There's not really any weeds. It's just rocky, clear. It just, everything looks good. I don't even know if I finished that story though. Basically when we were up at that uh, other lake, the guy said to throw this double blade willow. That's what he catches the biggins on. And apparently in that lake, he was catching six and seven pounders. So uh, <laughs> as I was saying, man, that's a big freaking fish in New Hampshire. I did not know that. Hopefully we're gonna lure him out with this thing. Especially on a nice windy day like this. I mean, that looks freaking good, dude. That looks better than good. That, look, that looks, Frosted Flakes, great, man. Stop playing with us. Oh my gosh, so much bait right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? What? What, what, what? Like, hello? Dude, it just keeps going. All right, we're not gonna try out the secret Smalley weapon. The one, the only, Ned Rig Turd. Oh, I got a freaking fish, dude. Okay. Okay. That's not a bad one either. Okay. Smalley secret slammer. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get back into that stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Let me talk about freaking hard fighters. <sighs> Gotta back up a little bit. <laughs> what is going on, man? Oh, my gosh. Wait, is that a Smalley? Pretty sure, right? Come back here. Oh yeah. Oh freaking yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Not a giant giant. All right, chill for two seconds. Look at this. I mean, dude just started freaking taking off. Okay, relax. Top of the mouth, top of the morning to you. Okay, he's not gonna like this. <sighs> Another chunk i mean heavy that's gotta be like a pound and a half not as big i don't think as the first one but super freaking just cool man again we don't have this kind of fishing opportunities in delaware and that kind of fish in delaware is a big freaking smallie in our like creeks and rivers and stuff and for this pond that's probably like a small one just insane that was like the second drop too with our uh secret weapon here, the little Ned Rig. We're gonna see if we can pull any more off the structure. It just seems like they're holding on to the structure, man. To be completely honest though, I did not know that guy was on. I didn't even like jig it. That's kind of what happened at first last cast. We got snagged and I just saw my line running. I thought I was snagged again, but it was just moving. Moving and grooving. It's, I just get drifted, man. Especially when we stood up there to fight that fish, dude, I was getting whacked by that wind. If you've never fished for smallies before, they're, they're seriously an amazing fish. <laughs> I mean, compare, it's like a cracked out largemouth. Like those 
two fish we just caught. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I caught a bass. Besides that one we caught here in New Hampshire, but that cold water bass, that, that thing fought pretty hard and it was on this like medium light rod that I'm using right now too. It's probably why it fought so freaking hard, but that like this, oh my gosh, the way they jump and everything, man. I have so much respect for these fish. And it's unfortunate too, because I know they get a bad rep up north. A lot of people, especially, that's not a fish, pulling up a whole freaking branch. But yeah, what I was saying, when we were up in Maine, uh, a lot of people wanted you to take smallmouth out of the waters because uh, I guess, I don't know if they were put there illegally or not, but they contest very heavily against the, the trout and everything else they stock in certain areas. So people, if you catch smallies, they want you to take them out up there, which I don't know the case of this pond or anywhere else, but I, I freaking love smallies, man. So cool. We actually did a smallmouth catch and cook back when I was up in Maine um, a couple years ago as well. If you guys uh, want to watch that video, I'll link it down in the description below because that was really cool. We went to like a little island on this big lake kayaked out to it, cooked up freaking smallmouth. It was really cool, man. If you guys haven't seen that video, highly recommend. I got fish. Oh. What? came back or is that a different one? Oh my <gasps> that is a freak that that fish needs to join the olympics that was the most acrobatic jump that that fish literally jumped several feet out of the water <laughs> what i don't even care i didn't catch it oh i hope i saw that you guys saw that on gopro what I don't know if it's the same aggressive fish that keeps biting me or if I'm like on a stack of them right now. I feel like that kind of happened earlier. It might just be the same one. I don't know if he'll bite again, but wow. <laughs> Hello. Hello, little boy or girl. <laughs> Ew. Oh, gosh. That is an aggressive little dude. Watch out for them gill plates. Another beautiful little smallie right there. One day, little man or girl, you're gonna be the king of this pond. Possible 10 pounder. Wow, there's so much bait. I don't know, I just keep saying, oh, the wind, oh, the bait. I, I, it's, just, it's like, what? Wow. I want to like snorkel down there and just freaking look at it. I wonder what kind of fish those are too. Or I wonder if that's fry. I think it's got to be like little bait fish, but I really don't know. This right here is a nice rock. Yay! All right, so we came back. This is... I got a lot sunnier, didn't it? The back of my neck is a little toasty right now. This is the first spot where we caught the fish using the Sanko. I think if I chuck this down, first of all, I think that fish or the other fish, you know, they, they could have respawned by now. But also, smaller profile like this, something that gets down to the water uh, bottom a little bit more. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking psycho fish, dude. Oh, don't go in that. Okay. Golly. Oh my gosh. Top of the mouth. Ah, oh, yes. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this one. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. I mean, they're just like rockets. So freaking sick, dude. All right. <laughs> oh, I knew if we came back, we might get one on the dead rig. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, splashed us on the way out as well. I mean, that guy put on a freaking show. It's like literally you hook into a freaking missile. <laughs> Oh, later in life, like, look, me and Kelsey, part of the reason we're on this road trip, um, you know, it's a fishing road trip, obviously to get some sick freaking stuff for you guys and to do some bucket list fish that I want to do. And also, uh, we have another channel, First State Camper, where, you know, Kelsey has a bunch of stuff she wants to do as well in all these places that we vlog and do all that stuff. We're starting up with more videos on that channel. Uh, I'll have that link down in the description below, but part of this whole thing, you know, we're exploring to see where we want to live later in life. And, uh, you know, having some smallmouth bass in my area, <laughs> that might be one of the things I'm looking for, dude. I don't know. I'm really liking the whole Northeast vibe. It's just the winters. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's, uh, like I'm not a big ice fisherman. I'm sure I'd get into ice fishing if I lived up here, but especially snowmobiling would be freaking amazing. But yeah, I don't know. The smallmouth kind of have my heart right now, dude. You guys know I love all types of fish. It's just today, man. <laughs> it's just so fun. That's the only way I could describe it. It's just, it's, it's, it's too fun. I wonder what like the max turbo speed somebody's ever gotten in like a pedal kayak is. Or actually just like a paddle kayak too. Like how do you how fast do you think people can freaking, like I, I always wondered this, do you go faster you think if I'm paddling and <laughs> pedaling? Could be like a hack there. Wow. It's gonna be really cool too. Cause in a couple weeks, the, all these leaves are gonna be changing. Now I'm colorblind so I won't see it exactly. Uh, yeah, it, it's difficult to explain. <laughs> but these, this is gonna be so cool. Especially for the videos, man. If you can't tell by now, fall is like my favorite freaking season. Between the apple cider, apple cider donuts, two, I mean, just top of the list things right there, but Halloween vibes, just everything. The fishing, this temperature. I wanna check out over here real quick too, because as I was loading in, there was some activity going on over here. We're just gonna try and check around the area, see what else is up. We're inspectors. Low-key feel like a pirate out here, man. Kind of like I'm in a Pokemon game too, like exploring new areas, getting new species. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the freaking support, man. It was like right around this area. Ugh. See if we see any other commotion. It was so cool, man. They were busting on the bait. I feel like I always forget to really, you know, describe everything I'm doing and talk about all the gear I'm using and stuff, but you guys have been seeing this rod and reel in a ton of videos. This is actually a Lose Inshore Speed Spin. This is the salt water. So it's like made for inshore use, but you could really use this stuff for anything. I mean, I use it for pretty much freaking everything. We have eight pound braid on this, and then I had a 10 pound leader, I think. So this is the seven foot medium action, moderate, fast, and this is the 200 series reel. There's a uh, link down in the description below though, flues.com, and I have a promo code. If you guys use it, man, FSF, it really helps out the channel. And this is the other thing we've really been using. I freaking love how this thing looks. This is the Magnum Bass, Lose Custom Speed Stick Light, and this is the Team Lose Light Reel. Just, this dude, freaking amazing. And then I have 17 pound floor on that. And then we didn't even use this today, but I had a top water. We might've thrown a water popper or something on it, but. That never ended up happening. This is our Tournament Pro Reel with a seven foot two heavy action fast. And uh, yeah, we have like, I don't even know what braid we have on there. It's heavy though. All right, let's just take one last look here, Red. This is, oh my gosh, so relaxing. Sun is heating down. Breeze feels good. I'm getting a phone call, hello? All right, y'all, that was a ton of fun. I have a feeling that's not the last of the smallmouth we're gonna be seeing here in the Northeast 
trip. But that's pretty much gonna do here for this video today. Again, man, if you guys are not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this going. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. Eh. Boop. Boop, no, the treat. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not a treat, that's plastic. You can't have that, dude. <laughs> All right, see you next video.